welcome to 2022. My name is Gary Holmes, and I serve as pastor here at Sugar River United Methodist Church in Verona, Wisconsin. This last few years have been really a challenge for our youth, adults, and our physical, mental, relational, spiritual well-being. And that has led us to focus in 2022 upon a year of living well. We feel the gospel addresses this very issue from its inception. It's not a new thing or a fad wellness. It, Jesus, in fact, said your faith has made you well. And what does that mean? How do we live into that? We're able to use curriculum designed by Living Compass Ministries. Scott Storm, the founder and their staff, have really helped us. And they will journey a little bit with us as a church as we work through how we can live into a faith and wellness more deeply this coming year. It takes intentionality, won't be easy. It takes out of our comfort zone. But the possibilities are amazing to think of what can happen. Wellness is developed from Jesus' commandment to love God with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. Remember, in Advent, we had a star and we were following it to the place of the birth of Jesus. And as you enter an epiphany, of course, it's, it's the mark of those wise who would follow it to God. Uh, the Rickles family created behind me uh, using that star into now what is a compass centered around wellness. I love how it shows us a, a vision of how our faith becomes that centering, that uh, ability to find true north and connection and move into wellness, into the areas of, of the heart, which is relationships and our emotions, or how about our soul, spirituality, rest and play. This is a vital difference from allow wellness programs. It incorporates our faith and sees how central it is to transform the love of God. And then our mind in terms of our vocation, which is more than the jobs we do, it really is finding that central purpose of our life and living into it. Or even the area of mind of organization. It does seem chaotic. Uh, can we use some focus and reflection of bringing clarity to our lives in that way? And finally, strength, resilience, how do we snap back and how do we face the challenges that we endure each day? And finally around strength, maybe the more popular uh, New Year's resolution centers around uh, care for our bodies, nutrition, strength, conditioning. But all these areas will be brought together as we start this year well by focusing on each of those eight areas. Not only will we learn about them and get biblical reflection upon them, but we'll also take an assessment. Again, uh, livingcompass.org provides that we can take a snapshot. How am I doing this specific area? In fact, even now you could go uh, to their website and take an assessment of all eight areas just as we begin this year and say, how am I doing in this moment? And start to ask questions. What's most important to me? What area might I take a faith step? And a faith step is an area in which we start developing smart goals, something obtainable, and small steps that we can take and focus in on that. Not get overwhelmed by all the things we might do, but what's the one thing I might focus on at this point? At Sugar Berber, we're working hard, the leadership, and preparing opportunities for you to incorporate other people. This is not an easy task, and so it needs support of others. And so the opportunity for you to maybe even just to meet with a friend over coffee, someone at church that you know or a small group and they can develop a curriculum around certain areas of our life that we might want to give focus to so all this is going to be happening now in worship as we go through each of these in this coming uh, several months of the year we'll also have those assessments that we'll take that you can say how am i doing at this particular time in my life and then begin to consider what faith steps might i take to being whole and healthier it's a challenging time. And my prayer is that Cheer River will be that church that desires for the community to be well. And that we might fulfill our purpose and deepen our sense of connection with God and those around us. Being able to express love through our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength in meaningful ways. So I hope you'll join us. That together we can journey through this coming year year of living well.